Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about bubble sort. First, we will see what is sorting. So, sorting is an algorithm that arranges elements of list in certain order. Now, order of sorting can be two ways: ascending or descending. Now, for example, this is the array given, or you can consider it as a list. So, array means what? More than one elements are stored. Similar types. Now, if you see twenty one, twelve, thirty two, twenty three. all are of type integer okay so they can be stored in one single variable and it is considered as array variable now you can give name to this variable as a or anything and the size of this array will be what 4 because it contains the four elements so you can consider this as a array of size 4 you write like this array now it you have to sort this array because this elements are stored in any order they are not in order so sorting in ascending or descending order we have to do okay so ascending order means smallest element will come at the first place and the largest element will be stored at the last place like this 12 21 23 32 descending means what largest element will come at the first place and smallest element will go at the last place like this 32 23 21 12 12 so why sorting is used it reduces the complexity of any problem it is always better to search the data or to access the data if the array is if the data is in the some order if the data is stored in some particular order it is always easy to access that data or search that data so it reduces the search complexity sorting is used in searching elements and in database algorithm etc so now we will see what is bubble sort it is a simple sorting algorithm of all a name is given bubble sort because it bubbles or puts the smaller element at the top of the list so by default sorting is always done in ascending order so it treats input array from first element to last element comparing each two elements and swapping them if needed so in bubble sort we basically compare two elements at a time and we swap them if needed so this is the original input array given 21 12 32 23 23 they are stored in some random order so we need to sort this input array using bubble sort now now the iteration 1 will keep the i pointer at first location and j pointer at the next location after i so suppose i is pointing at 0 j will point at one location so we have to compare element where i is pointing to the element where j is pointing if you found j th element less than i th element then swap them now 12 is less than 21 so swap so 12 will come at 21's place you can see and 21 will take 12's place once you swap increment the value of i and j by 1 so i will reach at position 1 and j will reach at position 2 now again compare i and j if j element is less than i element swap them or exchange them otherwise keep it as it is Now in this case, if you see, thirty-two is not less than twenty-one, so don't change it. Keep it as it is, and increment the value of i and j by one. So now i will point at position two, and j will point at position three. Now again compare jth element and ith element. Is twenty-three less than thirty-two? Yes. J element is less than i, so swap it. So 23 will come at j eighth place and 32 will come at j eighth place. We can exchange them. So at the end of iteration two, if you see 32 has taken its place, largest element will reach at its place. Now if you further increment the value of i and j, j will go out of the array, and there won't be any element to compare. Okay, so we have to stop over here, and this is the end of iteration one. and at the end of the iteration one you can see this 32 which is written in red color is sorted now so largest element at the end of the iteration one will get its place in bubble sort now in iteration two again start by making i pointer at zeroth position and j pointer at one position and compare i and j element so is j element less than i no it is not less than i so keep it as it is and increment the value of i and j by 1 so i will point at 1 and j will point at position 2 again compare i and j is j less than i no 
so keep it as it is and increment the value of i and j now if we can see that last element is already sorted we don't have to compare also this if you compare also you will come to know that j element is not not smaller than i so keep it as it is so at the end of the iteration 2 if you can see the second last element also will get its place that is 23 so now two elements are sorted by the end of the iteration 2 that is 23 and 12 uh, 23 and 32 so two largest element will get its place now in iteration 3 again make i pointer to the zeroth position and j pointer pointing to the first position in the array and compare i then j the element so is j less than i no so keep it as it is and increment the value of i and j so i will reach over here at position 1 and j will reach at position 2 again compare i and j we already know that 23 is already at its place so actually there is no need to compare also but if you compare also you will come to know j is not less than i so keep it as it is again increment i and j i will re, uh, point at position 2 and j will point at position 3 now again these elements are already in the sorted both the elements have already got their place so there is no point in checking them and they won't be getting exchanged because 32 is greater than 23 so no change and if you again try to increment i j j will go beyond the array where there is no element only so at the end of the iteration 3 you know that third last element also get, got its place that is 21 so 21 23 32 all are sorted now now only 12 is remaining so in iteration 4 i will point at first location and j will point at second location but this element is already at its place j the element so there is no need to compare if you compare also 12 and 21 21 is not less than 12 so it will retain its place if you keep on incrementing i and j you will see that j element is not less than i element so no changes will be made again if you increment i and j further again j element is not less than i element so no changes will be made so at the end of the iteration 4 if you can see that array is completely sorted 12 21 23 32 32 so smallest to largest that is ascending order array is sorted so this is only bubble sort comparing two adjacent or two neighboring elements with each other in every iteration so this was all about the bubble sort thank you